Welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today joining me is Joe, because this is his game, Wildcatters, from Capstone Games. Uh, this is from Andre Spill and Rolf Sagel. I'm sure I'm messing up those names. Two to four players, two hour time limit. You gotta be ages 12 and up or else you won't understand it. But let's peel off the plastic because that's when I tell you about twitch.tv slash hardboard games where you'll see a layout similar to this one, which is not our normal layout we use for un um, unboxing. But this is an interesting cover. What made you want to get this game? Uh, it was it was a capstone game, which yeah. I like, uh, which I have about bought pipeline, which I like. Pipeline. So it was on my list, and I saw I think a few other of the gaming channels that have played it, and so it looked kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, I watched a video, a short video on it, and yeah, I'd say it looks pretty interesting. There was, there's actually a short video; it's like six minutes long. Really well done, though, to give you a nice overview of the game. I don't know if it goes in the rules deep enough, but it's a good. Uh, or like what it refresher or something like that. Ooh, they even took the time to cover this instead of just leaving it brown cardboard. Bonus points for that, I guess. So this is a. So we got tons of bags. Yeah, I think this is a first for a game that I've bought. For what? Where they they're already bagged. Oh yeah, mostly. Plus usually, they give you usually, extra bags. Usually it's just like throw that in there. Yeah. So, <laughs> Here's so some stuff. They did save on a little plastic by putting these together. Ah, there goes one. Well, I guess they didn't say one plastic because they're all still they're all individually wrapped. Uh, lots of those samey colors, which is the old uh, yellow, green, blue, red. Which I think people have started to get away from these colors, but maybe they're cheaper. Like I think when I don't, we... I don't know how old this game is, or if this may have been like a, a re-release of theirs. So. Uh, so they may yeah. have just stuck with the... Because now you have your choice of any color, like go with so, something a little more thematic, something maybe from the cover, you know, well, I guess that green's pretty close, and that yellow's pretty close. Yeah, that yellow That red's pretty close. Red. But this blue has no business this being blue. here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you have little trains. I know stickers go on these things. Okay, okay I was about to say, I was like, I was like the, uh, they've, uh, Lots of little they don't look barrel like, yeah. bits. And these are, uh, Cubes. tinker, tinker ships. That means somebody had to put this in a bag and seal it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks whoever did that. More cards. We're going to look at the cards later, so just keep them separate. Oh, looks like we have a heavy cardboard promo here. They did not sponsor this, but they somehow got their skip the rule book, have the game taught to you by heavy cardboard here. So don't do that now. Wait for the unboxing. Yeah, wait, wait. Make sure you want <laughs> make sure wait for that to stop. Oh my gosh. And they made sure to seal this really they did well. Shrink wrap everything. Yes, everything shrink wrap. So you can start working on the cards if you want. I can be working on this. Once again, I need to remind everyone that this is uncut. Why is it uncut? Why don't you edit these parts out? Why don't you come do it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, you know, we like all surprises to be Weird. caught. Like, yeah. there was one, I was doing an unboxing and there was an explosion in the other room. If I edited that out, that would be very uneventful. Well, then we're also going to mind the frustration of, of the unboxing. Yeah, that is quite a chore. So you'll know how long. Hopefully this, yeah. isn't, this, hopefully this isn't the game you show up with and go, I just bought this. We should play it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you've done a little research into it. Yeah, plus if you're making unboxing videos of your own, maybe you want to know how long does it take to film one? This is how long it takes to film one. So once again, I already read that. We have the oil companies. We have the Anglo-Persian oil company. We have the Pacific Coast oil company, Standard Oil. My favorite. Standard. <laughs> yeah. And Royal Dutch Petroleum Company. Each one has a sheet, but they appear to be the same. They just have a different... Yeah, I'm just looking at the words on all the edges. They, those are the same. Of course, the colors on the other side are different. I mean, I guess it feels more like my own whenever everything's red. I'm like, oh, I'm the red player. I'm not the green player. That's right. Wow, okay. This book is not thin. It's a good uh, 31 pages, and someone left their handprint hand on it. Print. That would have been a wildcatter. Yeah. Uh, so what is a wildcatter? That's, um, I don't know exactly, but it's Let's like. see if it says in here. It's like a freelance oil guy, I think, or a guy that would go, like, speculate where oil might be. That makes sense. 
So. so this says the players find themselves in the most interesting turbulent period of the 19th century playing the roles of oil pioneers and investors. These entrepreneurs laid the foundation of the great oil companies that dominate today's world market. In 1870, John D. Rockefeller founded the Standard Oil Company. Within 30 years, he attained a monopoly position in the transportation and refinement of oil. Well, I mean, it's, it, well, we, you know, her favorite movie, There Will Be Blood. Right. That, that's exactly what he's doing. I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. And so he, you know, they have no, they just have a kind of an inkling that there might be oil there at that time because they didn't have the the tools they have today where they could, you know, do sonar right. and, and, and... Oil detectors. You know, the oil detectors. <laughs> they were just like, let's drill here. And they would drill for a bit, you know, and then... They would have to go raise money and go like, "Hey, we're going. Jeez. We're starting. We're opening this place up. We got to get the lease, and we're going to start drilling. And you know, they got to go pay people to come out there and work." So, you will develop oil fields by concessions from risky investors known as wildcatters, and provide your own transportation of oil. Find partners and know your enemies in this tactical game of majorities, in which logistics plays an enormous role. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I don't think my I knew that. Yeah, so this is this is bit. a pretty heavy game from from my understanding. So yeah, yeah, there's the, a uh, lot here. And so I'm, I was interested in it, but I'm also the only one that will will buy these, <laughs> these <laughs> games in our group. And All right, and so well, we leave you to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, everybody leaves it to it. That's fine. Um, yeah, there's some big games that I wanted. the The challenge of these big bigger games is. Getting them to the table, mm -hmm. it like takes the whole evening, and like you have to have people willing to play. So here's the changes for two player. Which whenever a game does that, I mean, I watched the video and I know that there's a lot of um, trust within each other. So I was like, this probably won't be a great two player game. I imagine three and up, three or four is probably the way to go. No more notable wildcatters. Okay, so up to page twenty six, it's all rules, but then we have some other things here that's not really rules related oh, just, uh, the game catters yep they get their own little art and a special thanks area so let's take a look at what else we got in here There's some cards we have some cards more cards to open up we'll open all of them I think these, I think these, these must all be shares yeah we have some uh, tokens lots of tokens these are other things. <laughs> I've seen these as like some sort of manned oil uh, places. Oh. Like once you get rid of the these things, mm -hmm. you replace them with Are these. With that, with and the supply pump. them. Yeah. yeah. Tokens. Tokens for days. Oh, look. They even give you a little <laughs> a collector's wildcatters thing. Because otherwise, I don't know what that's for. They're like, hey, we got an extra one. May as well put something there. Yeah. Stickers! Okay, Everybody's nice. favorite. Stickers. <laughs> and then we have the board. Let's go to the wider shot. This is a big board. It's a six segment board. Kind of, I like the art. I like the style. I'm a fan yeah, think, of a good I think, map. I think that's the biggest draw for me was Oof. the... the uh... Here we go. Or lay it on top of there. The look of it really cool. cool yeah, that's a cool look. I like that. A new map of the world. And really, when I was watching the video, it's really just cut up into a couple sections here and there. Like, it's basically just 12 areas of a map, and they just, the map made it theme to uh, the world. But it makes sense. Cool. Now let's take a look at those cards. Oh, look at the back. They just put the name of the game on the back. Now, <laughs> why would they do that? Let's go do they something. Could, they could have put anything on the back. Honestly, I'm a fan of putting the exact same thing on the other side, like another copy of the map. What if something mm -hmm. happens to my other map? Yeah. I'm like, good, I got another map on the back. There's nope, instead right. I have this. <laughs> that okay. someone took about five minutes in Photoshop to make. So. Well, at least they printed something. Yeah, well, I guess. I guess, <laughs> yeah. Guess. The plain black oh, back man. probably could have been just fine. All right. Put it back together. I'm sending it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unacceptable. 
So we have some close-ups because we're gonna look at these shares. I don't mean the singer. So these are all green and blue. Pretty basic stuff. I think these are the points in the game. Shares. I am not going I to assume, <laughs> take I assume. a look. Yeah, I'm not gonna take apart these because I'm at. You could probably be that close yeah, too. Because that's like. Because that's probably all the same. All yeah. shares. Here. So you I assume you're able to pick over. up shares in other other people's company. So I guess that's one of the. Just like in uh, Panamax. Yeah, Panamax. Uh, did Pipeline do that? No. He did. Just uh. All right. There we go. So we have these cards. You can open up this one because that actually has some art on it. So I'm not sure what these are for just yet. Oh wait, I do. Because you each turn you're picking one of these to gain these resources and then this is the only zone that's used during that round, I believe. Don't take my word for it. Go watch the how-to video that they free plugged here. <laughs> but you can see how South America, half of it was used as a section because it's all just broken up into a couple sections here and there. Uh, okay. See, there's the other half there. Um, Sorry for the glare. I need to look up there. So yeah, they have half a quarter of the Asian area. I think it's, it's Russia. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Vlad, Vlad this. Vladivostok. Vladivostok. That's the. It's a port city on the very on the Pacific. Ah. That's why we have Joe here for the. Well, I just know that it's, it's, it's like <laughs> there's it's, it's like Siberia. There's like nothing and else. And there's just like this little town that's like on the it borders, uh, I think, North Korea. San Francisco, Montreal, representing Canada. More San Francisco. And then we have Shanghai and Jamnagar, which is probably in India, I guess. Yeah, it's only a couple sections of the map. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't know if they use the other parts, but I didn't see any cards listed to represent them. Yeah, there's not, um, there's only certain places where there's the oil rigs go, I guess. Yeah. Other I think places so. must be some other kind of resource. So. And we have these guys, some original art for it. Workers. Is it all workers? Whoa. Okay, so you're going to use some workers in this There's game. There's a lot of workers. There's a whole lot of workers. This doesn't. In Wildcatters, which you can come see us play that at twitch.tv slash heartboardgames. And until next time, the box is closed. Mm -hmm.